up, everybody? It's your girl, Jayla Cole, and your boy, Atum Rye. Yeah, what it do? Tell them who we had today. Hey, man, A1 Live, man. We got the JCS Project. We got Lee 360 in the building. Man, they finna tear it down, man. These are true revolutionaries in the works. You know what I'm saying? Give it back to the next generation. That's why we here. Get in the action, baby. Y'all know y'all can tune in on weareA1.com, YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, everything. Everything. Get in the action. Hey, yo, A1 Live. Hey, man, got the Bill Podcast in the building, man. Y'all tune in, man. We are A1.com, man. You know what I'm saying? We're taking a knee on y'all boys, man. Hey, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> y'all can watch on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. We are A1.com. Getting the action. Yeah. to us on our website, who has subscribed to us on YouTube, 
everybody who has been holding it down for eight months since the beginning. We are doing so many things that we couldn't do any of it without you guys. So we appreciate it. Make sure that you guys are going to our website, weareA1.com, and checking out all of our sponsorship packages. If you are a business owner or, you know, entrepreneur or anything of that nature and you like the things that we are doing on this show and our other shows as well, you can sponsor us online is that that's right make sure you guys are also checking out our events page because action one is always in these h town streets that's right always in the community you know showing love to different entrepreneurs and different organizations and that things if you want to keep up and find out where a1 has been that's the place to do it we are a1.com slash events Make sure you guys also tune in to the A1 station on our website as well because we play, we spin nothing but the hottest independent R&B, hip hop, all genre music right here from the city of H-Town and abroad, but mostly from right here in the city. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my co-host for the night, these beautiful, <laughs> beautiful ladies y'all see right next to me. We have the beautiful Miss Sonia, the Don Diva. She is woo, one woo, of woo, the woo, newest woo. additions to the A1 team. She will be a host on one of the new shows kicking up next woo. month, yeah. the Adore Her, the podcast. We also have a face that you guys... It's not a strange face to y'all. Y'all know y'all see her all everywhere with A1. We got the Miss Tanya White of TVMA hey. the Tea. Hey, hey, world. You're now traveling with TVMA the Tea. So how y'all ladies doing tonight? Fine. How about you? Yeah. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Oh. So I'm excited because, you know, this is one of the first times I've had all women <laughs> yes. at the table right yes. now. You yes, know I mean? it's yes, yes. So much fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. First thing I want to talk about that everybody has been talking about, let's go ahead and address it and get this this orange dust out the air. Oh, gosh. You know, <laughs> how that orange dust going around, giving people sinuses and stuff like that, you know. What is up with Donald Trump impeaching himself? Like... How does that happen? You did all that to get in the office and you're impeaching yourself. All I know is I am so tired of the TV being taken over <laughs> with breaking news and live, live, live. Mm. I'm so tired. Can can this be for real this time? I mean, I, if he just wants to leave, just go, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. You know, I don't, I never understood Donald Trump. You know, one minute he he's doing this, next minute he's mm -hmm. Nicole, you know that he's a Gemini, so... Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, what it is. I didn't know that. Yeah. But, but wait, you a Gemini? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it, is it something with the male Gemini's? I think that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's so what we, we gonna know, run we with. Together, you mm. know, so. so what is this about Gemini's that we need to know about when we're considering the the, the Well, you know, Tampa? it's like, it's two people. So it's like, you don't never know what you're gonna get with him. So one moment he might be good. Next moment he might be tripping. I don't know. So like right now he's tripping. So like, I mean, in my opinion, I'm ready for him to go. I don't know about you ladies. But. I'm tired of it. I'm so over it. Let's let's move on. Can we prepare for 2020? Like it's other pressing news to be worried about. I don't think this is one of them. I am so over it. You yeah. know, I'm so over it. But you know, he could be back. Oh, oh the devil back. is a lie. <laughs> Lies we tell. Lies. No. <laughs> Lies. Snoopy. Over. Snoopy. Snoopy. Snoopy the Man, that's sad. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was about to be real messy, but I'm gonna let it, <laughs> let it, go. let it pass. Let it, let it pass. So anyway, but for real, I'm so I'm some real stuff. You know, we're we're all women. We're all black women, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I have been seeing on social media, on the news, everything about this H and M campaign. This oh, yeah, so we went to, to a little girl. With let's talk girl about hair. it. 
you know, and there's been a lot of outrage about it. Yes. You know, saying, why would they put her on there with her hair like that on one side? And then the other side, they're saying, well, that's her natural hair. We should be celebrating the fact that H&M is showing, you know, mm-hmm. African-American children or African children of any location. <laughs> is that the producer hair. laughing? Is, is that the producer it. laughing? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, Jay Nicole, keep it real, real funky right now. <laughs> keep it real funky. I'm rocking my natural today. Mm-hmm. Now, I could have came in here the way I woke up this morning because <laughs> I didn't get the Beyonce. You know, that didn't affect me. Oh, it, it touched her, but it didn't touch me. I had to put a little, I had to put a little product to this to get it to be the way that it needed to be. So my thing is this. Could she have, could the mom have at least brushed the sides? That's all I ask. <laughs> it could stay in a ponytail, but brush the sides. Well, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to intervene here. Like, you know how little girls can be sometimes there. Her hair probably was brushed. You know, she's natural. It doesn't stay there. Like the social the posts I saw with the back to school. Yeah. So, you know, you send them, you send them one way, but they end up another way. You mm-hmm. know, we make you want to hurt them. Attention to yeah. make them look so cute, but then they go underneath the bed, underneath the covers and the closet. And, 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 yeah. and they come back. <laughs> like they had a struggle week. Like they really had to struggle for their nine to five. Yeah, but they didn't just spend a whole hour on their head as so well. I don't think it's an intentional thing. I think the look wasn't bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I agree. She probably mm-hmm. could have brushed it if she mm-hmm. saw it. You know, it was kind of mm-hmm. messy. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's still her natural look. You know, I mean, we love we natural, have, by the way. And you know, that's the thing, too. How I feel about it is that, you know, we fought for so long to be able to be in our natural state. True. Mm-hmm. And HM has had so many different issues mm-hmm. in the past with how they have portrayed African American children in their ads. Right. You know, so in this instance like H and M, they can't win for losing. You know what I mean? I, I guess at the same time, even though they're showing her in her natural state. Right. But we know, we know, <laughs> you know, that there should have been some kind of, you know, the like edge you know, three thirds the edge from pro you know something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I mean don't forget Beyonce even got criticized though with mm-hmm. Blue Ivy's hair. That's true. Yeah. That you know is true. I mean? And her hair looked fine to me. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, you just can't win for losing in the black community that's these just days. Thing, you know, it's just been a, a law that's actually been passed. For California, right? Yeah, saying that there cannot be any discrimination based against your on natural, your natural hair. hair. But it's, I it's think a shame that, in 2020. But it's yeah. not 2019 that there yeah. are laws being passed for discrimination. But I think it's getting out of control because you have these kids that are going to school and administration or even the staff or taking it into their own hands and wanting to cut the child's hair, telling the child that they need to look a certain way. And, you know, as as a culture, that's just not something that you can destroy. Now, let's bring it back just for a second. We all on this panel tonight are African-American women. Yes, we are. And I know I have been turned down from a many a jobs mm. because I had braids in my hair. Mm. And it wasn't anything outlandish. It was the fact that it was braids. Remember when cornrows were back, were in style? Yeah. yeah, I remember going on a job interview in the Galleria, need I say more? Mm. And I did not get that job because they told me I needed to take my hair down. That's just sad. Yeah, so, I, I kind of get that sometimes as well, you know, because sometimes I like to, you know, dress it up a little bit, some color, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, you have to kind of be extra cautious about mm-hmm. your look when you're going for these professional jobs and things mm-hmm. like that, which is unfair because it doesn't take away from the person mm-hmm. that you're actually on the, or the work that you right, right. want to produce. So we shouldn't be focused on hair and makeup and all that type of stuff. We should be able to express ourselves without the discrimination. Right. So. I agree. I agree. Message. Okay. <laughs> because I, I just think it's unfair because let me tell you, I've worked in corporate America for many, many, many years and I have seen people who are not African American come in there with blue hair, mm-hmm. green yeah. hair, mm-hmm. hair not combed. everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a whole piercing all over down. Blueberry right. blue. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they, they, it's like they're just fine. They right. In. There's no problem. That's that yeah. privilege that we talk about so much, you know. But yeah. When it's, I come to work with my hair and my afro puff, why is it a problem? I know. But you know what? On my show, do you remember I did an episode? Matter of fact, it was when I had Royal on the show and we were talking about the lady who got kicked off of her flight because of what she had on. She was an African-American and she had
had on a romper. She had a nice vibe. It, baby. Uh, nice. She was banging. I get that all the time. She was banging. Know? So I right. understand that completely. But oh, it was nothing. I didn't feel offended by it. Did you feel offended by no, it? I thought her outfit was cute. I thought it, it was, was banging. Exactly. She was going on a trip. Right. She popped she out ready. that romper. She <laughs> had that romper sitting right in that romper. Uh, yes. She was mad. Yeah. And I hate no her. That's yeah. Awful. And I, I just can't believe that actually happened in 2019. Yeah. But I digress, so. Yeah. You know? So, um, yeah, the next thing, the next topic we have is about a young lady named Tanya McDowell. We're gonna go. We're gonna take a quick break, real quick. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're gonna talk about Tanya McDowell and how she was sentenced to five years for sending her child to a better school and lying on the address in order to be able to do so. But we're gonna take a quick break right now. You're watching A One Live right now. We are a1.com/tv. Joy, take us out. Put your money where your community is. Get in the action at weareA1.com. Thank you. Thank you all for just inviting me out and giving me the opportunity to speak about Twist. I really appreciate you and I love that you all are um, doing positive exposure of, of people in the community. Versus what, whatever else you could be doing. Right, right, right. <laughs> I appreciate you shedding a positive light in the world. Show, so. show. Get in action. Action. Next. Hey, hey, world, you're now traveling with TVMA the T. That's me. Welcome to Action One Media Brunch this beautiful Saturday morning. If you're here, you're ready to get in the action. My testimony. Action One Media has been a pivotal part of my business as an entrepreneur. I've always been the travel blogger. I actually was an educator for eight years before I actually stepped out on faith and started to run my business 100%. Today, today, my business is skyrocketing. I am a franchisee of cruise planners. I am also a local Houston travel blogger and I am Action One Media's travel podcaster. I am TVMA the T. I will tell any millennial or any entrepreneur that's looking to boost their business, get in the action. Action One is about family, it's about the community, and it's definitely about you, the entrepreneur and you. So, if you're looking to support a great cause, Action One Media is your start. Guys, you've been traveling with TVMA the T. Make sure you check me out on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's my time, guys, and thank you for your attendance and thank you for your support. Remember, get in the action. Action one, inspire next. All right, we are back in action in the A1 studio. This is A1 Live going down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Who am I with? Intr- introduce yourselves again if they don't remember the y'all. Name. Diva. Yeah. And it's me, TVMA the T. Yeah, y'all don't know this. That girl, Don Diva and Tanya White. You are tuned in and you know who I am, the one and only Jay Nicole. So before we went on break, we were we had started talking about a young lady named Tanya McDowell, who it just got sentenced to five years in prison, in prison. Y'all heard me, prison, mm-hmm. because she was homeless and she lied about her address to send her child to a better school. That is crazy, mm-hmm. you know. So she was sentenced to five years, and this happened in twenty twelve, when she just got sentenced for it. Right, but it is a problem because. If you look on the other side of the 
fence. Oh, the, the fence. Yeah, we hopping <laughs> yeah. fences today. <laughs> Felicity Huffman, you know, y'all remember that whole college admission yeah. scandal yeah. that was going yeah. on? She was only sentenced to 14 days, and it was an entire scandal. Yeah. Right. So how do you weigh that out based on, first of all, the circumstances, and second of all, I mean, let's just be honest, the color of the skin. Yeah, you're I, right. I totally think it's an unfair, you know, sentence or whatever, because like they were a part of like a whole scam where they were paying people off and bribing people and things mm -hmm. like that, where this woman was actually homeless. And right. I mean, she used someone's address. Why did she get five so, years? So I'm not understanding this because if she was homeless and coming from that educational realm, she should have been protected under the Homeless Act. So I'm not understanding how this was able to, to fly through through unless they did their investigation and they saw that she really wasn't you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. because there is a law that protects families if they really don't have a place to stay and you know that's the thing about it too um, a lot of times you know that you're an educator mm -hmm. you know right. that mm -hmm. she may not have known that she mm -hmm. probably could not afford a lawyer just imagine if somebody's homeless they can't afford a home how could they afford representation well, when it comes lawyer. to court yeah. when it actually cares you know and I want to know about the advocacy see in the school district who was her advocate she right. should have had an advocate where right. was this again this was in let me give you one second but while i'm looking at a why why do you think that she was sentenced to five years man that's that's a long I mean, time we gotta say it we gotta you want us to say it it's kind of obvious it's right? very <laughs> obvious in the 2k19 that's all i mean it's just it just kind of puts the, the nail in the coffin of what's actually going on out here. So, I mean, it's really sad. I really feel bad for her and her family, her kids, you know, that she's actually going through this. And I really think that they need to, they need to lower her sentence. I mean, especially on the circumstances of what Felicity got, you know. Mm -hmm. so. so, yeah, it was actually in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. okay. Connecticut, you know. <laughs> That's, you know, I always had a hard time spelling that when I was there, so I always had to bring down Connecticut. Right, right, <laughs> right. Right, so right, right. Had right. A, a system to go you with, you know what I'm saying? That's because my mama was able to put me in school without going to jail you know what I know saying? that's like, right I was able to get an education a All good right. one you know but it says that she was she was charged with first degree larceny because yes. she used the address of her son's babysitter to get him in an elementary mm. and I'm pretty sure that school had all of the resources it had everything that mother was wanting for her child to have a better education mm -hmm. and you think about where probably where they came from they probably didn't have the same opportunity as the babysitter did of course and it's a problem when and parents have to make a decision to use somebody's address so their child can get a fair education, a right. fair shake at being great. But right. That makes you wonder or question do they even want us to have a mm. good education? You mm. know what I mean? Like, is it that worth it mm. that you would put someone in jail for five years so that this child can't get a good education? Now this child doesn't so, have a mom. Yeah. You know, let alone a good education. So the situation but, actually works now, right? But so. see, but see now, that just throws me for a loop because if we look at what's going on in today's hot topics in the news with the celebrities, and I feel like Where's the disconnect? Because it's the if, if we want to be if we want to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges, it's the same. If you want to look at it, really, I feel like the mother should have got a break. I think so too. But the other situation, Which there is no excuse. There is no excuse yeah. for that. Making them and all that. Well, they made excuses, of course. I heard like I think she was an advocate for. She didn't want to do it, or I mean, it was a, a bunch of things that they came up with to make her. That's look because they have publicists. Innocent, pretty they much. have publicists. Their publicists mm -hmm. tried to clean it up for them. Yeah, and, you know, wiped it so clean that they only got fourteen days. Yeah, but you know, when I was reading, I was like, oh my god. This person really never ever played polo. Polo didn't even exist at the school. <laughs> like, how did this how get did through the cracks? the cracks? Right. Who who put the stamp approved? Yeah. If you stamped it, you looked at it, you guilty, guilty, guilty. Everybody on everybody that line is guilty. In on, yeah. in on it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was making money and in, in, in on it. It's just a sad shame because, you know, when when you do have money, it's you know, when you when you're a person who don't have who doesn't have the money, you can't go to the same places or slide 
through the cracks. Even like talk everybody to the same people can. almost, right? Exactly. <laughs> they Why that you? song is in my ear now that you said that? Our favorite girl, uh, give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the money. Yes. Shout out Anjali. Y'all can hear her on weareone.com too. But you know what? But that's so true. That was the context. That was the main hardest context clue were right there. Money, guys. I mean, think about it. If... If the young lady in Connecticut, if she would have had the coins, the funds, I don't even think her sentence would be as heavy as it is. I she think she may a, have a slap on her wrist. She would have a slap on the wrist. Yeah. I think she would have got off with maybe um, probation or so and community service like those who have money. Right. And it's unfortunate. Um, you know, it's just a, a hot topic that kind of gets you there. And it's sad because it's 2019. It's so. 2019. And we're yeah. still going through this. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I feel like when you're saying it's 2019 we're going into 2020 mm-hmm. there should be no line of division here mm-hmm. between the races you know mm-hmm. there shouldn't be I can say that but it it, 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 it shouldn't be mm-hmm. I kind of feel like we're going backwards no, we're just not going anywhere yeah we're I just, don't know it's we're just, just riding this roller coaster going around in a circle around in a circle sniffing up all this orange you know this air. Cheeto does <laughs> Cheeto does <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that's crazy man that i just can't believe that this is still happening in this day and time mm-hmm. um but you know let's let's move on let's move on from that because i want to know what you ladies have going on it's sad I, it's, i'm still hurt by that topic it's yeah, sad. yeah it really is i wish i don't know we have to dig a little deeper and see what we can find out more in detail about the case i just thought it was interesting yeah when i looked it up I'm like five mm-hmm. years i know people I know people who have lied on addresses <laughs> all my life to get lie kids. every day. They're not even in good schools. They just want them to go to a different school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And uh, it's just too much. Yeah. It's just too much. I'll be praying for her. Yeah. yeah me too. Definitely. So let's let's move on. Let's let's lighten let's lighten, lighten the let's mood. Talk about yes. Some, some, some good stuff, you know. Uh Tanya. Yes. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know Tanya is an A1 podcast. There you know she hosts the show Traveling mm-hmm. with TVMA the T where she gives you all the tea in the school. That's scoop, right, honey. You okay. know. For those new viewers, why don't you give them a little, you know, insight into what you talk about on your show? Well, hi guys. <laughs> I am TVMA the T. Um, if you are new to traveling, if you've never traveled before, my show is literally to engage new travelers and experienced travelers alike. So we get you going, honey. I mean, if you've never traveled, the people that come on the show and talk about it, they gonna make you want to go and experience their brand. So So that's the whole point of bringing travel to the community, educating the community, because I was an educator first, you know, and I still find myself educating, especially my new travelers who've never left the city of Houston. Guys, can you believe it? No. I can't believe it. It's 2019. You got to get out of Houston, man. So here's... Get out of this humidity. So so at the end of the day, that's what I find myself doing, you know, and it's been a blessing in disguise because who knew? I was just out blogging one day <laughs> at what is it the Black Food Truck Festival? Oh, uh-huh. speaking of, yeah. oh yeah, we gonna get oh yeah, that. oh yeah, and you know, action one was in the building, okay, and we you just know, linked up, streets. and you know, but and then that's what the show is about. It's about togetherness, connecting, you know, each other, and bringing you closer to the action. Mm-hmm. You heard it, get into action, guys. So you mean to tell me that I can come through you and get hooked up to go to Jamaica? Can you come through me, honey? Right. You didn't tell her? Girl, she know. She acting new. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, girl, act new, girl. Act new, girl. Yeah, well, we gonna talk. We, we gonna, gonna talk, talk offline, to girl. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you my. Dig- I'm gonna get you my digits, girl. Yes. <laughs> This is what happens with the action one yes, studio. Girl. You know, people come in and start exchanging information, but that's yes. what it's all about. You right. know, connecting Connected. everybody mm-hmm. to each other. So, Tanya. Yes. I know that um you are hold, holding an initiative because of the her the recent hurricane in the Bahamas that caused all that destruction. Mm-hmm. So I just kinda wanna make sure that we inform everyone out there about the efforts that you have going because it's definitely necessary and we definitely need to gear them to get ready to start being involved in yes 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 so thank you for having me on the show today as your guest um host guest co-host um jay nicole and yes
Yes, guys, I am TVMA The T. My travel podcast runs on Saturdays and essentially it is all about travel. And so what I wanted my blog and my podcast to focus on was the children affected in the Bahamas because as an educator, that part never leaves you. And no matter how old you get, no matter where you go, education is important. And so I do, I have started an initiative and um, I am collecting back to school supplies and backpacks for the children that have been affected in the Bahamas. We, there are two islands that have been affected, Barco and uh, Grand Bahama Island. Now, if you've been on a cruise ship, you have been to Grand Bahama Island. You've never been to Barco because that's not a tourism area. It, it's what we would call um, the hood. You know, so okay, so yeah. tourists don't go there. However, I kind of make it my business to go to the hood whenever I'm on vacation because mm -hmm. you know, you know. That's the way you had a you know. fun. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. So what I've done is I've teamed up with the Bahamas uh, Tourism. Well, Bahamas.com is the Bahamas Tourism Board, and you know they were on the show. Um, what was it? <sighs> episode nine I think if y'all watch y'all would know yeah that's true that's true follow me guys um and so I've been in contact with their approved relief guys I'm saying this and I'm stretching this approved relief uh sponsors because the Bahamas doesn't want anybody just coming in taking donations right. taking funds taking things and so they put me in contact with the right people okay. and so a phone call email leads to one place leads to another place and now now I found myself dealing with the school in Nassau. Um, it's called Rafferly. Um, and so I'm I'm going to be posting that information on my blog. So if you're interested in donating back to school supplies, we are not taking any monetary donations. I am only looking for back to school supplies inside of a backpack. Here's the major point. You must put a positive note in the backpack. So if you're sponsoring, leave a positive note for that child who's most likely lost everything you know because words are powerful mm -hmm. so that's my tea I so, can definitely re relate to that because you know I was a um, hurricane Katrina, Katrina yeah. you know survivor so those little notes that you guys put in these backpacks they mean a lot yep. because just to read something that somebody cares it gives you a little bit of hope after right. losing so much of your things so right. I can definitely relate to that I, and you know what my husband is, is also from New Orleans and we stay talking about it we stay watching a documentary because even though it happened over so long ago 2005 y'all and it still seems like it was yesterday yeah. and I can only imagine what they're going through in the Bahamas because I remember visiting New Orleans like shortly after they opened it back up but it still reeked yeah. it reeked of death it reeked of everything yeah. and it was it was so desolate you know and I can only imagine a place that has stuff completely wiped off yeah so I you know my heart was already hurting when I saw it on the news and I thought back to Katrina days I said oh my god we lost thousands yeah yeah these people have lost about the same mm -hmm. even though the official numbers have not come out in my heart I feel like the numbers are going to go up yeah and you know we prepare ourselves for that you know it hurts as a human being and if you don't feel some type of way as a human honey maybe you're not human honey <laughs> I'm gonna need you to, to get connected because something is not is, is is something is not right like you have to you it's no way to not be emotional when you see this right. i look y'all i stay connecting to the behind the scenes story the news has their story but mm. there's the real story exactly and to see the footage to see the coverage to see what's going on is just so painstaking so we just you know pray for the Bahamas we pray that they continue to push forward and know that hey you got a group of people in Houston Texas who are supporting the children and that are going to be donating to the back to school fund as far as the supplies only guys and that way the kids can have something positive to look forward to. So that's school supplies, that's backpacks, and a positive note inside that backpack. Something simple to make a baby smile. Right. You know? And I, the thing about the devastation um, in the Bahamas and in New Orleans is the Bahamas is an island. Right. You know, you can't just drive out of there. That's you true. You know, to get to somewhere safe. You know, it was devastation in New Orleans. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, People lost everything. People lost their lives. 
and you guys were able to leave. Right. They actually have to stay. These people have to stay. Do you know anything about how they are, are people leaving the Bahamas? Is there like a, or is it a lot of people just staying there trying to redeem? So what I do know, and of course, don't quote me on any of this because I am not the official spokesperson by right. far for the Bahamas, but just from my own point of view and what I see and who I'm connected to, you know, Cruise Planners is a very large travel agency, very reputable brand in the United States. And I am so honored to be a part of them as a franchisee. And just to know that the suppliers that we work with, I mean, for God's sake, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, these suppliers have donated millions, sandals, all of these suppliers who have business in the Bahamas, because you got to think about it. This is how these people eat. Right. This is how they live. So it's it would help to help them hurry up and get back on their feet right you know because it's a revolving door right. you know what i'm saying so i do know that some people have been able to um leave some people have not been able to leave if you didn't have your documentation right. we go here we go with that again there we go that was an <laughs> but, point. but at the end of the day it's i i tried and i try my best y'all not to deviate into these type of conversations because it gets me so upset mm -hmm. it gets me so upset because i think about about the fact that we all come from a different place. Mm. And if you just look at the color of our skin, we're not one race. We're we're from multiple places. And so to tell someone they can't come here and they're seeking asylum, it's painstakingly heartbreaking. Right. And I am so torn just to listen to the way that this country is headed I mean, in it's 2019. Sad. It's very it's sad. It's really sad these people are, are devastated everything is devastated around them and saying you have to produce a document right my documents are somewhere right around yeah. you know? right like, how am i gonna get access to that yeah yeah so Your i IDs mean and everything are gone and, and that's what a lot of the complaints were a lot of the complaints they said that if you didn't have your documentation you couldn't leave the island remember Katrina yeah. my husband lost everything you know and just to have to get those things back that's a, a that's a hassle it's a real it's hassle. a hassle yeah. we're rebuilding mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? so you know we're gonna continue to put them in our prayers and we're gonna here's the here's the initiative that I want people especially my followers just pray and help them move forward. That's what we can do. But we can't pray without action. Prayer mm -hmm. is a prayer. Get but God action. say, what's faith without work? So yes. we got to work, guys. And these kids are dependent on us. The adults are going to be okay because there are programs and resources that are taking place right now from various different organizations. I'm talking about various corporations. But at this point, still, we have kids right. that are going to need some type of counseling. They're going to need yeah. some type of support. Absolutely. And I would love to see in every backpack I would love to see a child's book in the backpacks because that's just their kids you know and we still have to hold on let them hold on to those memories despite what they witness yeah right you know because it's gonna stick with them that's gonna yeah. stick with them for the rest of their lives that's not gonna go anywhere my model even in the classroom I used to tell my students if I can only reach one my job is done the question is are you the one and you know we're gonna reach more than that but that's my tea. Yeah. Right. So, okay. We're going we gonna to get off the Bahamas right now. Because what I really need to know is you're the keynote speaker of something, right? Oh, yes, yes honey. Let's not forget about that. Tell me about that. Give me some. Well, guys, I mean, first of all, I've been away from home. You know, A1, I've been gone um, about, what, two months now? Yeah. A lot of people didn't know that um, last October I was dealing with something. I didn't even know what I was dealing with. Um, and I had a mass in my armpit. And they used to see me on the show up here grimacing just to try to get through a show. We used to have guests come in on the show show I would muddle through it but ladies I'm gonna tell you when you find there's a problem try your best to go get it checked out because you never know I ended up going to the ER and the doctor immediately forwarded me to an oncologist I was scared I was like, I can't see that being my future. Right. And so fast forward today, I had surgery on August 27th. They removed a mass. I'm good. It was benign, but it was an overgrown mass that was getting out of control. Um, fast forward today, 
I um, applied to be a keynote for Lone Star, and I heard last Monday that they chose me and four other wonderful ladies. What? So I will be speaking at the Lone Star Summit for the Fearless Grit Summit for 2K19. So thank you. Awesome. So guys, I, I challenge you, if you're my followers, I really would like to see your face in a place. I will. I do have it posted on my personal page for Tanya White, and I do have it posted on my Facebook pages as well, TVMA the T and Traveling Made Affordable, the group. So That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. you thank know. you. Y'all don't know, but Tanya is a hardworking lady, man. She Hustling, 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 hey, hustling. You know, the things that she's accomplished, you should know that because you wouldn't be able to accomplish it just sitting down doing nothing, you know. Class and character. <laughs> so, the next topic is Action One has a new show gearing up hey. in October. Yeah. Welcome to the family. <laughs> yes, it is called Adore Her, the podcast. I'm excited. And it will be hosted by. Your girl, Jay, Jay Nicole, Nicole. Hey. along with your girl, the Don Diva. The Don Diva. From where? Well, wait, Don Diva, where you from? New Orleans. The Nola <laughs> in the <laughs> building. She all right with me, y'all, because she's also a Saints fan, honey. Okay, like, <laughs> but that when she I'm told just, me when she told me she was a Saints fan, she was an instant in the sister, door, baby, like right, right there. there. But Jane right Nicole, you didn't tell her she might not roll over too well with the engineer girl. He might try to mess up your show. No, I'm just girl, going to ask you. <laughs> RJ because you know he is the <laughs> biggest <laughs> RJ, Texans fan. Oh god, he is the biggest. I think I can hey, do you know he's from Texas. I don't have a I'm problem. From Texas. Have a problem with Texans, you it's the Cowboys. <laughs> but I was, but I was a Saints. I, 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 I beg to differ, honey. I was a Saints fan before I said I do, honey. So were you a Saints fan when we were losing? <laughs> Huh? Were you a Saints fan when we were losing? I was a Saints fan way before I met my husband. Okay. So many, many years. Well, she's accepted, Jay Nicole. She's accepted. Oh, baby, yes. <laughs> I was a Saints fan when we lost the Oilers and they sent them to Nashville. That's when I left. I, oh, I couldn't okay. deal with the loss. I mean, Oilers suck. They ain't gonna lie. And then they brought, uh, they they created the Titans for them. I wouldn't. I wasn't yeah. about to be that. Yeah. So I just went on next door. They accepted me very well, accepted my bandwagon <laughs> application. I am so happy and exactly. honored to be a part of Same the Who Dat Nation that. in the building. <laughs> I mean, I'm rolling with y'all. I don't care. I don't like football. So <laughs> oh, like, she don't make me no difference. Well, we so. need to get her a bandwagon application because she's really not the little guy. I'm going to get her a shirt. And her sanctified. She's going to have a hat. Yes. I want to ask you this, okay? <laughs> she already knows how I do it on game days and don't let us win before I have a show. I'm already. Yeah. <laughs> she already knows. We ain't supposed to be talking about football. <laughs> Well, I keep it cute, so I like the jersey. It's you know cute. I like it cute so. You can see her with all game day. She's I'm ready. A, she got the, the Saints snuggie and all that stuff, baby. She really, got, girl? Yeah, yeah she ready. really I got the now. Saints tennis shoes, the jersey, the um, of course, the hat, you know. But it's nothing like going home. Because y'all know that is my second home. I used to oh, live there. Home going home there. and being on goal <laughs> line or right in the end zone Man. at a game. It's something about that end energy that crowd that crowd yes i mean that you love know, is real i know it's very real yeah and i've been to a texan game don't get me wrong mm-hmm. texan does it well as well but you know what i gotta give i gotta salute the saints so because that's my I'm home team nobody, so okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay because i will be at that saints game i'm gonna be at that Texas game and a producer I'm like i'm gonna be there too like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you really want to know my team initially is the raiders that's where i'm from that's you know? Right. You yeah. know, I'm a, a Raiders fan. Uh, <laughs> you know. What? You know well, they like, moving no, right. We're not having that. You know they moving right. <laughs> well, I got an H-town. You know they moving right. <laughs> you know yeah, they, they moving. They've been saying that for a long time. They stadium is almost done. I know. I know. But that's okay. That's all right. You know. We already did a sports segment, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They never had girls do a sports that section. That is true. You're I right. think that would be interesting. And, and you would be amazed at how much sports we do know. No. Yeah. I surprise people all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. a lot of people never mm-hmm. think she knows for it. And I because, start... because y'all don't know, the Don Diva, the, the, her name is very fitting because yeah. she is straight the Don Diva, baby. She plays no games. Okay. Yeah. She is the person that goes outside like she's been outside all day. <laughs> 
<laughs> that I used to thought, be me, honey. I just thought if she would be the perfect person to help host the Adore Her, the podcast show. Aww, because, yeah. you know, that show is going to focus on romance, tips. It's a, it's a show for men right. and women. Mm-hmm. You know, men need to come and watch this show so they can find out how to adore their girl the right way. And women need to Amen. watch this show so they can find out how to make sure that their man adores them the right way. Exactly. Okay? Mm-hmm. So the reason, the so she was like the perfect fit, the perfect, you know, encompassment of what it, what needed to what needed to happen because she gives great advice. I mm-hmm. have to do that. Hey, she is my personal counselor. Y'all. I am that. <laughs> <laughs> she gives great advice and she just knows a lot. So, Sonya, tell me a little bit about what you think you would bring to the Adore Her show. Well, first, Gina Nicole, let me thank you for inviting me to the team. So I'm very excited to be here. Hey. Um, what I'm going to bring, I think, to the Adore Her brand is just education on how to maintain in a relationship, a marriage, how to feel appreciated, how to give appreciation. Uh, me and my husband have been married for uh, almost 10 years. So. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that is a That's blessing, a honey. Time. It's a long time, you know, and it's, n- it's never easy never ever easy we always have to come back full circle and remember why we actually got together so I think that with some of the tips that you know I've learned for myself I can Mm kind of bring that to you know to the forefront Mm -hmm. and share that with other ladies and then men as well because I'm not only a counselor for ladies I Mm -hmm. also do it for men as well I'm really really good at it all right all right (laughs) so we're gonna go to a quick break and when we come back we'll talk about a little bit more about adore her and some of the things that the show is going to touch base on. But stay tuned. Keep it locked. Get in the action. We'll be right back. Keep it locked. Now you still here? Go on and subscribe. Get in the action. Oh, we back at it again, baby. Get in the action. So I challenge you today to start strong. The 
jam. That's yes. a vibe. That's a vibe. And that was perfect because we talking about you know our good her. men and we talking about good women mm-hmm. and how we need to take care of each other mm-hmm. and adore her. The podcast coming yes. in October. That's yes. right. You guys along the way. So speaking of love and romance and all this stuff, we just gonna touch base on a little bit. Give them a little taste, a little taste of what's to come. Yeah, a little taste. I honey. have a question for you, ladies, because both of you ladies are married women. Mm-hmm. You both have husbands, mm-hmm. loving husbands who care about you, and mm-hmm. you know all of that good stuff. I want to know how important is romance in your relationships? I want to hear from both of you. Sonia, you go first. In my opinion, romance is extremely important because I mean that's where you, that's where it first starts, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Like when you first meet, you're mm-hmm. you're looking for those butterflies, you're right. looking for those that feeling, you're excited. So mm-hmm. if you lose that in your relationship or your marriage, mm-hmm. then it's almost like you lose each other. So right. it's like it's super important that you keep all that, all the flowers and the the bath, you know, run-ins mm-hmm. and the like, surprise don't forget, trips. Don't forget about the breakfast and beds and stuff because mm-hmm. I try to make it my business on Sunday mornings to get up and fix my mm-hmm. husband a nice big breakfast. She make great breakfast. Okay, <laughs> breakfast is. That's what I gotta call it. Not just breakfast breakfasts. Don't say that because then you know he's gonna want it on Sunday. Get some grits. Tell him I make some grits so I can come get some. Shout out to my husband Dre. So but yeah so I just think that romance is, is, is especially important in you know relationships and marriages right. so we have to keep that fresh. How you feel about that Tanya? I feel the same way. You know I think about how you know my husband shout out to you honey poo charles who's a hard working man (laughs) y'all i always think about how we met and where we are today and i also find that when you have a family sometimes those things tend to kind of dwindle down so it's important to try to make that me time between you and your spouse because when you have the kids when you have the Mm. in-laws and and you have your job life can get get away from you and you have to have that time to do things Things between you and your spouse. Right. So remember, if you look in a book a trip for you and that special one, <laughs> yeah. if you looking, I'm booking. Because guess what? I book all my husband trips. He bet not. He bet not go nowhere. And he and then the thing is so sad. It's like he can't surprise me. He even, just cannot surprise me. Yeah. Even the small trips, guys, like yeah. those are important. Even if it's not something big like Jamaica or mm-hmm. the Caribbean or whatever, even the smaller trips to where you can just go and do like a hotel stay. Right chill by the pool we call them staycations yeah Mm. those even help you know Mm because you're you're looking into each other's eyes Mm -hmm. and just having a good time so i think those are important as well amen outside of the trips though what are some of the things give me okay this is what i'm gonna i want each of you to name three things that you do to keep the spice in your relationship go first tanya because i had to think about mine (laughs) why i gotta go first why me but the the husband's gonna be watching Uh, yeah he gonna be like (laughs) (laughs) but i'm a show sell it honey (laughs) no no i mean you know you have to you have to stay changing you know you can't be the same way that you met back in the days you have to consistently do new things i've made it my plight my ploy or whatever the word is Mm -hmm. um to um make sure we do something different together that we've never experienced before so you know I always want to go somewhere that neither one of us have ever been I want to go down to Lake Houston and just enjoy the lake, you know, yeah. um, because this is where I come from. You already know, Jay Nicole, we don't have no lake in our no old lake. neighborhood. We showed you up. know, he did, he did in New Orleans, but I've never had we that had experience. We had lakes in New Orleans? Yeah, yeah in Metairie. In Metairie, girl. Metairie, girl. Talking about, she's talking about Pontry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, whatever, that, whatever that is. There's no lake. Girl, <laughs> Y'all had something, but just trying to consistently do something different you know between the two of you Mm -hmm. and that's what I you know take pride in and I look forward to it because at the end of the day I'm gonna tell y'all when that happened to me with my medical situation situation it had me really open my eyes because I was scared you know Mm -hmm. my husband had to continuously come for me from crying what if what if what if Mm -hmm. and the sleepless nights and the crying nights because of the pain you know before I had the process and I, I just think like what if I'm not what if I wouldn't have been here to do these things right so my light my eyes are wide open now and I don't take anything for granted so shoot they say they booking the trip to where Bora Bora 
oh, we go, we going to some way, somehow, we going to try to figure <laughs> out a way. Yeah. Well, I mean, but just trying to do something different. And even with us, because we have kids, you know, our kids are so important to us. So sometimes we may not be able to just have us. We do take our children with us right. because they are a big part of us, too. So Sonya, the Don Diva, tell me, tell me real quick three things that, uh... That I do? That you want to keep, keep okay. the ice right. So first thing, I, I always you. make sure to show him appreciation. You know, so I think appreciation, yeah. you have to let them know because he does a lot. You know, I complain. Mm -hmm. I'm a Gemini, so I'm crazy. She I complain. Is. I'm two different Why people. Why are you like that? Like, <laughs> I'm two different people. This man, I send this man through the ringer, like literally. <laughs> One moment I'm happy. Next moment I'm in. He's like, how do you switch up like that? But I appreciate him being patient with me. Right, right. You know, so... He understands that I'm two people and he, you know, he doesn't, the he doesn't twins, get mad about it. The Gemini it. Exactly. twins. So he kind of accepts that. He accepts me for who I am. So I, I definitely show him appreciation. Um, I also give him, like, gifts. He loves to get gifts, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, we all like gifts, you know. I like to get those surprise gifts. Right. And I know he likes it too. Daddy give the best gift. <laughs> <laughs> that's 10 years strong, guys. That's, no, that's 10 years that's strong. I implant, I implant in his brain <laughs> what I want, okay? Mm -hmm. I put little notes around the house I point things I'm like look at this outfit babe wouldn't this look good on me <laughs> <laughs> so That's you know I do years. things like that and then I also make sure to um, give him like home cooked meals like cause mm -hmm. you don't want to always feed your man like yeah, fast food right. and you know I don't want nobody else to eat my man either right. so I make sure to give him like on Sundays he gets the best like I'm talking like lobster dinners mm -hmm. and but he's starting to expect it too much now like I want to break <laughs> you know and it's like on Sundays he's like like, um, are you gonna cook? I'm like, <laughs> my grandmother used to say, the way you got them is the way you gotta keep them. Okay. But you know what? My husband is a chef. He is. He's wait, a chef. wait a minute. <laughs> Why do you want her to cook? <laughs> Wait a minute. A gourmet chef. Wait a minute. And he, I don't know, like, I have to literally beg for him to cook for me. So, yeah, but I think those are, like, some of the things that definitely you have to keep some thought in. <laughs> Baby, won't you come closer? I want to feel you right next to me. Oh. In my mind, wanna vibe, but you gotta know that you're mine. No rush, we got time. Slow wine, baby, put your body on mine. Now pull me close and hold me tight. Let's work it out tonight. I'll be yours, you'll be mine. Let's dance to the sunrise, baby. Baby, won't you come closer? I wanna feel you right next to me. Crush nothing throw back. I mean, I love you when she pull up and she throw back. Come close to me, yeah. baby. I'm a fan and this is yours. Can't you see? I want to give you all the best in me. Oh. See, I don't mean to bother you, but if I get you, that's it of you. Baby, I don't want nobody but you, but you. Girl, I can't get over you. I don't mean to bother you, but if I get you, that's it over you. Maybe I don't want nobody but you, but you. Girl, I can't get over you. Baby, won't you come closer? I wanna feel you right next to me. Oh.
some of the other things you got going on. Absolutely. So uh, thank you for having me. I feel like uh, I'm in the presence <laughs> of like celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, 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 just the shades, man. Just the shades. <laughs> um, so I think like 2000, 